Everyone likes to make One and a quarter hours. Okay, how long does it take to cook that though? One and a quarter hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like screamed it. Is this recording? Yes. Oh, <laughs> great. We need to start this thing where like we don't get on our phones. So, 30 minute shepherd's pie. That's potatoes. Sour cream, egg, cream. This sounds good. This sounds like really like involved. Ground beef. I like this. Carrot, <laughs> onion, butter, flour, beef stock. Worcestershire. No <laughs> way. Hey, we already have that. We do. We have plenty of it. What? They're going to make a mess of the yard. What do you expect? <laughs> All white starchy stuff, so you need something like green. But it has vegetables in the pie. It does? Well, not very nice. Well, said key, oh, why don't we do like a fancy vegetable appetizer? No, I'm saying that this is a oh, salad. You said that to me. Oh, like, excuse me. Uh, there's <laughs> clover, carrot, and peas. Yes, we'll make clover. Is a great idea, Mr. Wallace. Thank you. Irish cream chocolate mousse. That sounds good. Yep, yeah, does sound really good. Click that. Click okay. that. Click that. Click like that. <laughs> right. Taste the rainbow. That's Skittles. <laughs> Irish food minus one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so our bird. non Irish appetizer will be Caprese salad. And our main dish is going to be an Irish shepherd's pie. And our dessert is going to be an Irish chocolate mousse. Excited. We're actually really looking forward to this because we've, I feel like this is the most like legitimate meal we've cooked. This is a legit meal. Yeah. Shepherd's pie is really involved. It's like a whole like meal, like multiple courses on one, like one dish. Yeah. Yeah. We have not had a snack. I just want to make that clear. Wow. And we will not. No, we had Starbucks. That doesn't count. Okay. We're not getting a snack at Publix. We yes. will not be getting a snack at Publix because we learned our lesson last time. Because last time we had so much food and we had already snacked, we weren't hungry enough to eat the food. So this time, we will not be snacking. <laughs> we plan and initiate very well. We are now planning and initiating this meal. Yes, we found all our recipes and we're reading through them and we're listing our ingredients. And it's very well planned, I think. And we are going to do the same thing that we did last time where we consolidate all our ingredients onto one page and group together the ingredients that are the same thing and group them by aisle to make it easier to navigate. Okay, yeah, so fine. like this is how we work collaboratively, effectively. So we're each going to take a recipe. Okay, I feel like you can take the mousse and the salad and me and you can take the shepherd's pie. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, great. And we are considering global importance for making a shepherd's pie, which is very... Irish and also Irish moose, which is Irish, and the Irish people like meat and potatoes because they eat a lot of potatoes. One time they had a potato famine, and we're very aware of that. We are considering global importance because we're celebrating the Irish culture through our consumption of shepherd's pie. <laughs> <laughs> shepherd's pie celebrates Ireland because it incorporates many core Irish values such as potatoes and <laughs> Potatoes is a core Irish value. <laughs> yes, definitely. Potatoes. Like they were so upset when they didn't have potatoes. Well, but like the actual vegetable is a core value. Yes, they value potatoes a lot. Today we will take the shopping bags. We, we will. will take them today. And that's going to be really ethical for the environment. Pinky promise. We are developing new skills of presentation and decoration. And we will be decorating the table for our special guest, Solomon Howard, <laughs> and presenting our food in a very professional manner. Mm -hmm. It'll be great. Yeah, we're going to plate it and make it really legit looking. It is now 5.12. Our goal is to be back here cooking at 6 o'clock. Look at Louisa go. <laughs> is this like we're filming a short movie? <laughs> She is carrying her shopping bags that are yeah, made of cloth. Help the environment. environment. Helping the environment. Get some Woo! Proud of ourselves. This is the first time we've actually we've conquered our challenge. Yay! Yay! Woo! So as you can see on the list, I marked all the things that are veggies. So as we're in the veggie area, we can make sure that we get them all and we don't have to come back. And then I marked all the things that are on the back wall so that we can also get those and the rest are scattered throughout the aisles. Yeah. Excellent job, Nicole. Thank you. So we are here in the snack section and we have like made this commitment not to eat snacks, right? But then they have free snacks today and I just don't know if we can overcome this challenge. Nicole, what's your opinion? 
I think we need to persevere bad. and commit to our goal. No, we Don't you guys agree? But we weren't gonna like buy a We need to persevere and <laughs> commit. Okay, I no. agree. We need to persevere and commit. So we're not gonna do it, right, Caroline? Pressure, persevere and commit. I don't know if I'm gonna persevere. Caroline, you're not. Caroline, I need you to tell me that you're not gonna have the snack. I mean, I guess. Thank you. We are now exiting the public, so it was a successful grocery run. This was also a fairly cost-effective supper club. It came out to about like 35, which is pretty reasonable for a supper club. These are the ingredients for the Irish chocolate mousse. We have some mixed berries for topping, whole milk, whipped cream, and instant pudding. These are the ingredients for shepherd's pie. We have chopped parsley, not chopped yet. We have <laughs> ultra pasteurized regular whipping cream, which we believe is the same thing as cream, but we're not quite sure. We have one large onion, sour cream, steam in a bag green peas, aka frozen peas, potatoes, beef broth, eggs, butter, many carrots, but we only need one, paprika, and ground beef. These are the ingredients for caprese salad. We have fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, basil, and olive oil. We are also not going to add cheese to the shepherd's pie because part of being kosher is not eating meat with cheese. So we don't want our meat filled shepherd's pie to also include cheese. So we are respecting his religion in that aspect as well. We are making a kosher meal today. Here's a challenge that we're overcoming. I don't know how much two tablespoons of butter is, so I'm comparing it to an unopened package, and then I will just estimate from there how much two tablespoons of butter is. Okay, so our potatoes were boiling like forever, but they were really big potatoes, and we didn't cut them up beforehand, which we now realize we should do. So now we have these potatoes that like aren't soft enough, so I guess we're gonna microwave them or something. But then they don't all fit in this microwave bowl, and I don't know if this bowl is microwavable, and it's just a real challenge right now. <laughs> I like, hello, I'm mashing very intensely. It's extremely difficult. We've microwaved it with like various liquids and like, just look at this. Like mash, and it just sticks into the hard potato. <laughs> I really feel like this is the, like the biggest challenge. I am persevering right now, very much. <laughs> this is literally the biggest challenge Supper Club has ever faced. We invited him to our Supper Club, to our exclusive Supper Club. We gave him this very special invitation to come consume our food. He calls extremely late when we are almost finished preparing our meal. And he calls and is like, no, I can't come. My mom won't let me. And I'm offended. And that's very rude. I decorated the casserole beautifully with parsley and everyone else is criticizing me. There's just so like, mm -hmm. much parsley. Look at how much parsley I didn't put on it. <laughs> yeah, but look how much you <laughs> did. You turned the Irish casserole into a salad, Caroline. It's not a salad, we you have a salad. turned it into a salad. I don't know what to do with all this parsley. <laughs> By the way, Hayden's here. Hi, uh, Mr. Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> This is our beautiful meal all ready for serving. We have our caprese salad with wonderful presentation. An Irish and we salad. have our shepherd's pie with wonderful <laughs> presentation. This is Hayden over here, our guest. You already be... introduced me. I'm just introducing you again. <laughs> oh, let me get the dessert. Let me get it. This is our Irish chocolate mousse with whipped cream topping. Okay, great. We'll eat it later. <laughs> so here we have our guest for this evening, Hayden Grant, continuing with our new goal of having other people eat our food and give us suggestions. Any specific elements you were really impressed by? Um, I really liked the meat. It was yeah. very well done. I'm glad. It was good stuff. And the potatoes, they were nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, you weren't... thought they were like creamy and sweet. Could you put that yeah, napkin down? I'm so sorry. I they, weren't, they weren't overdone, but they had like a little crispiness <laughs> to them, and I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah Hayden. a crispy on top. What's up? Yeah. And the caprese salad, <laughs> how did you feel about that? No, I quite liked it, it was very good. Mm -hmm. So were there any weaknesses you found in the meal? So far? To mm -hmm. identify? Yeah, so far, no. Well, I don't know, Hayden, because um, remember earlier when Caroline was, you know, garnishing well, the salad? you know, there was <laughs> quite a bit of parsley on my salad. Now, I did tone it down when you weren't looking. I took a bunch of parsley off of that. In fact, a lot of it's sitting over there on the couch. <laughs> All right, Hayden's been secretly taking off some of the parts over here. He's taking off. We're considering the ethical implications of, I don't know, removing the parsley. Here. Of changing the cooking decisions of one of our <laughs> fellow teammates. So I think 
I may have helped you avoid one of the downfalls of your meal. I think we need a lot of parsley so that we would have garnish on every section yes, of the casserole. That's what we need. You know? Like, we have this whole thing of parsley, and I just wanted to utilize it effectively. I just so, ate the Irish mousse. So, what did you think of the Irish mousse? It was quite tasty. It was? Yes. What did you think of the presentation? Nicole did a nice job on it. It was really nice. There was... Mm-hmm. On top of... So, it was good. <laughs> this is part two of our interview with Hayden Grant, who is our special guest for this summer club. Hayden has just eaten our Irish chocolate mousse, and now he's going to tell us about how delicious it was. Hayden? It was extremely delicious. Yes, yes, it was. I also ate it, so I agree. And I'm very proud of everyone, and I think we had a good time doing it, so it was a real good summer club, right, everyone? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> that was a good take, right? <laughs>